good morning to you now we will continue with the parliamentary procedure yesterday we have seen already consolidated fund of india contingency fund of india public fund and uh, you know various grants supplementary grant additional grant excess grant etc now we will see in continuation exceptional grant exceptional remember i have told you excess grant that is different where the psc will examine now exceptional grant exceptional grant means this is granted for a special purpose the reason of which cannot be disclosed suppose let us say raw research and analysis wing for a particular item of secrecy work of secrecy nature they want some money the normally the secret organization the controller of accounts gives the certificate that is taken as verified so there is no need for close examination of any fund allocated to secret service organizations so in such cases where the disclosure of the purpose or the reason of the fund cannot be revealed is it is against the public interest in that case exceptional grant is sanctioned so exceptional grant is for a special purpose the reason cannot be disclosed in public interest and it is taken as uh, approved it is taken as a confirmed one on the basis of the certificate provided by the controller controller of the accounts so this is the exceptional grant now we come the next one is token grant see token grant is i give an example you will again you will be able to appreciate you know supposing you have your son you have given him 50000 rupees for his tuition fees and boarding and lodging for one year and you have given him transport about 10000 rupees and you have given him books etc 10000 rupees he is asking you you provide me a very good mobile which cost about 50000 rupees let us say 50000 rupees remember you have not sanctioned him the mobile whereas you have sanctioned him the tuition fees of 50000 rupees and transport of 10000 rupees and other other thing for books purchase 10000 rupees now you have not approved the expenditure for purchase of mobile which is costing 50000 what he had done is he had take he had saved out of the 1 lakh rupees given for his division fees he had saved about 25000 he had saved about 5000 from his transport 5000 from his you know hostel etc and he 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 is ready to purchase a mobile of 40000 rupees remember purchase of mobile the purpose you are not approved and he had by the savings from other heads he had taken 40000 rupees those purpose you are sanctioned but he had made a savings now he is asking you please give me approval for purchase of this mobile which you have not approved earlier you need not give me any money i have got money but in token of having approved you give me 1 rupee the same analogy applicable to parliament also the savings have been done by the department for meeting an expenditure which has not been included in the annual budget this is called token grant so they will ask the parliament you give me rupees 1 you need not give the entire expenditure that expenditure we have managed along with the savings as a token of having approved the purpose of the expenditure you grant me rupee 1 as token grant that is called token grant token that is a token grant which is sanctioned in token of 1 rupee in token of having approved the the expenditure behind which there is a scheme which has not been approved in the original budget sanctioned budget this is token grant so you have seen now various grant supplementary grant you have seen additional grant you have seen excess grant you have seen exceptional grant you have seen what on credit you have seen what on account you have seen we have seen almost all now we are coming to money bill and financial bill finance bill appropriation bill and appropriation act these five you have to see remember it's a very controversial decision very uh, decision the said very controversial subject because of the aadhar which was uh, taken as a 
நான் மணி பில் அண்டு விச் ஹஸ் பின் விச் ஹஸ் நாட் ரெஃபர் டு த ராஜசபா அண்ட் தெர் வாஸ் சம் கான்ட்ரவர்சி இட் வாஸ் ஈவன் நவ் இட் இஸ் சப்ஜுடிஸ் மேட்டர் இஸ் சப்ஜுடிஸ் பிகாஸ் சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ஹஸ் ரெஃபர்ட் த கேஸ் டு எ லார்ஜர் பெஞ்ச் லார்ஜர் பெஞ்ச் தட் இஸ் அண்டர் கன்சிடரேஷன் we are not going to the politics or otherwise of the issue we are we want to know what is the constitution says no first is money bill remember under article 265 of the constitution no tax can be imposed or levied except by an authority of law this is the constitutional provision i remember i have already told you first class or second class that is no tax can be imposed or levied except by the authority of law therefore re- remember for each tax there should be a law in support the taxes are levied through passing what is known as money bill in other words a money bill is a bill containing any of the provision dealing exclusively the matters given in article 110 of the constitution remember money bill means immediately you should remember article 110 of the constitution what are the provisions there there are about 6 to 7 provisions are there but remember it normally deals with imposition of tax abolition of tax remission of tax alteration of tax regulation of tax regulation of borrowing of money or giving any guarantee by the government of india custody of consolidated fund of india custody of contingency fund of india payment of money uh, or withdrawal of money from any say, fund of consolidated fund or contingency fund or treating an expenditure as charged expenditure or varying an expenditure among the charged expenditure all these things have been given in article 110 of the constitution so if any bill is dealing exclusively directly solely any of the provisions contained in article 110 of the constitution that bill is called money bill so you understood that is any bill dealing with any of the provisions directly contained in article 110 of the constitution is a money bill remember money bill has certain peculiarities characteristic unique features what is that money bill cannot be introduced in rajya sabha see the purse is controlled by lok sabha so obviously money bill cannot be introduced in rajya sabha it can be introduced only in lok sabha and that too only on the recommendation of president remember money bill cannot be introduced in rajya sabha it can be introduced only in lok sabha that too only on the recommendation of the president of india thirdly rajya sabha has very minimal role it is fifth wheel in the coach in dealing with the money bill it cannot pass rajya sabha cannot pass rajya sabha cannot reject it can only recommend and the recommendation can be accepted or rejected by the lok sabha the will of lok sabha will always prevail oh okay now lok sabha has an upper hand as far as money bill is concerned remember rajya sabha can always delay a money bill for a maximum period of 14 days on expiry of 14th day the bill is treated as deemed to have been passed by both the houses of parliament and sent to the president so The, the you wait for 14 days and the end of 14th day the bill is deemed to have been passed by both the houses and it will be presented to the president now remember who will certify it is a money bill or not it is a speaker who has to certify that the bill is money bill remember speaker certificate cannot be questioned in any court of law judicial immunity given to the decisions of the speaker remember anti defection law proceedings also cannot be pro- the decision of the speaker given the anti defection uh, law proceedings cannot be questioned but that was question that section 7 i have already told you the doctrine of severability but here also even though 
constitution says that the speaker's decision cannot be questioned in any court of law in the recent that is in december 2019 case supreme court has referred the matter to a larger bench that means the decision of the speaker has been questioned though the, de- the, de- the, de- the decision may be correct i am not questioning that now but it has the court has played a role it has said it is subjected to judicial review that is the implication so this has been referred to the larger bench by the supreme court now money bill you understood now second is financial bill remember what is financial bill financial bill is a bill which is not directly dealing with the matters given in article 110 but indirectly deals with that is the financial bill remember financial bill is of two kinds financial bill category 1 financial bill category 2 financial bill category 1 is remember financial bill category 1 is deals with not directly the provisions in article 110 but indirectly i give an example let us say it's all imaginary remember let us say the income tax act introduced this what is known as standard deduction of, of 50000 remember this imaginary 50000 standard deduction income tax it has been introduced and next year they are saying for ladies for the ladies the 50000 has been raised to 70000 remember taxation policy is not changed only the slab is changed so this does not deal with the policy so this is not a money bill this is a financial bill category 1 remember then what is category 2 category 2 is other than this other than policy anything regarding withdrawal of money from consolidated fund of relating to the withdrawal of money from consolidated fund of india or contingency fund of india is called the second category of financial bill now how do you treat this i have already told you about money bill now first category of financial bill remember it can be introduced only in lok sabha it cannot be introduced in rajya sabha it can be introduced in lok sabha only on the recommendation of president and not being a money bill speaker certificate is not necessary not being a money bill rajya sabha enjoys equal powers including joint session you understood it cannot be introduced in rajya sabha it has to be introduced only in lok sabha it has to be introduced only on the recommendation of president and not being a money bill speaker certificate is not necessary and not being a money bill rajya sabha enjoys equal powers including joint session this is what is known as financial bill category 1 then what is financial bill category 2 for all purposes for all purposes it is an ordinary bill it can be initiated in either house number 1 it can be initiated in either house number 1 not being a money bill rajya sabha enjoys equal powers not being a money bill speaker certificate is not necessary not being a money bill it is as good as an ordinary bill then what is the speciality the speciality is before the bill is taken up for consideration underline consideration before the bill is being taken up for consideration the recommendation of president should be obtained introduction there is no need for recommendation before the bill is taken up for consideration the recommendation of president is essential so for all purposes it is an ordinary bill no presidential recommendation necessary at the introduction stage it can be initiated in either house of parliament not being a money bill speaker certificate is not necessary not being a, being a money bill it rajya sabha enjoys equal powers the only speciality if at all the only speciality is that it should be recommended by president for consideration underline consideration so before the bill is taken up for consideration the president should recommend the consideration so you have seen money bill how it is treated in both the houses of parliament financial bill 
how it is treated in both the houses of parliament financial bill category 1 financial bill category 2 and so remember all money bills are financial bills but all financial bills are not money bills underline all money bills are financial bills but all financial bills are not money bills why money bills should qualify the provisions in article 110 and it should be certified by the speaker and the certificate of the speaker cannot be questioned in any court of law so this is the definition of money bill financial bill i have already told you two categories fb1 and fb2 not directly dealing with the policy it is taxation class i gave an example it is a taxation class so fb1 fb2 now we are coming to what is known as finance bill remember finance bill so finance bill means remember finance bill is always a money bill it is introduced in every year it is a additional tax proposals a bill in which tax proposals are included and for passage that bill is called finance bill see you have to, you are introducing so many taxes now you will see there in the budget documents you know the budget document consists of 12 uh, documents first uh, uh, two are uh, you know statutory requirement uh, then subsequent four is uh, uh, separate and other six six to 12 is only information so the 12 documents you will always say see the article 110 and article 113 and article 112 all the three coverage will be there then there is the frbm act Uh, and the uh, outcome uh, budget all these things will be there along with the uh, uh, what is called budget documents so in the budget documents you will be see able to see the finance bill and the provisions of the taxes so any tax proposal included a bill is called finance bill it may be for the full year or it may be for the part of the year so any proposal which contains the tax proposal in the form of a bill is called finance bill remember finance bill is always a money bill okay now you have seen money bill financial bill category 1 financial bill category 2 finance bill and appropriation bill remember appropriation bill means you know we have let us say we have got 50 departments 50 dep- the departments means the offices which are given the departmental status for instance ca- cabinet secretary office is a, a department planning commission is a department pmo is a department with they have been given the status of the department so every department will prepare a demand for grant that is what is the requirement of their money in the coming year estimated so that is called a demand for grant when a demand for grant is approved by lok sabha it becomes a grant demand for grant dfg so demand for grant that is if it is approved the demand will become grant so all the demands for grants will be collected by the coordinating agency what is known as finance ministry and they will prepare a main demand for grant the main demand for grant will will consist of all the requirement total requirement of money for the entire government of india this will be presented in a form called appropriation bill why bill it has not been passed by both the houses and assented to by president so it is a bill what is bill bill is nothing but a legislative proposal so that bill is called appropriation bill it is a money bill remember it is a money bill when the appropriation bill has been passed by both the houses of parliament assented to by president the appropriation act, bill will become appropriation act the appropriation act gives the authority to ministry of finance to draw the amount shown in the appropriation act from consolidated fund of india accordingly the ministry of finance withdrew withdraw this money from the consolidated fund of india and distributes this money among all the ministries depending upon their demands for grants which have been passed by lok sabha so this is how the ministry of finance distributes the money among all the departments and after you know at the time we will discuss this when we take a budget when sometimes it will all uh, say four or five departments will be taken up for a, a thorough scrutiny and the cut motions will be applied and the rest of the ministries 
uh, all the outstanding demands will be put to vote without any discussion what is popularly known as guillotine once guillotine is applied then the finance bill will be introduced and it will be passed so this give this completes the procedure for the financial procedure for passing the budget so we have completed now the part of parliamentary procedure tomorrow our next class we will start with the other terms which are important from the examination point of view and this is useful for the potential parliamentarians or any person who is interested who is presently in the parliament this will be useful thank you very much thank you